you, you, you've got the elite, but you've also got when Adam Cole was there, you had the super click, and now that uh, Cole's supplanted, uh, or now that Marty Scrolls supplanted Adam Cole in that group, is there a new name for it? Do you have another name for when Cody is a part of it? Because there's all different combinations of you guys hanging out together. Do you have right. little nicknames or, or yeah. terms for for each uh, permutation? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. I was just going to first say, may re- uh, Adam Cole's soul rest in peace. <laughs> um, yeah we have we have different names for everyone uh we haven't thought of one with cody though uh we were oh, thinking it should be team ftr oh that's right <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's great that's right which which is genius which is genius so i guess we'll we'll be named that uh, for now on. <laughs> hey, I'm a big, I'm a uh, fan. I'm a big fan of you guys. Is uh, adding uh, Marty Skrull to the mix? Big fan oh, of him, yeah, man. man. He's great. He's awesome. He's so good. He, he's he fits right in. And even before that, we knew we we're like, man, if we could get Marty in here, it would be great. And I'm he, glad it all uh, worked out. He's one of the. He's <laughs> the kind of guy that brings something to the group instead of the group bringing something to him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, they, it's yeah, both. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's both. Yeah. It's a mutual thing. It's like he's so it's smart, a, man. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say his biggest asset is his brain, his mind, the way he thinks. He's so different. He's because like yeah. he, he's a little guy. So you'd expect, okay, is he gonna be this way or this way? And he's neither of those. Like he's just right. really intelligent. So I think he really gives. He lends something to the crew. He's nice to have around. So we're buddies with him. Yeah. We call ourselves the, the, the super villains when we're when it's the three of us. Mm-hmm. We've yet to have That's a six right. man tag, but uh, the super. A couple it's out. the super villains that you can't hate. Like it's so hard to it's so hard to hate you guys. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> hey, yep. hey, um what it was really hard not to notice um on the second night uh a little banter back and forth you had with Josh Barnett. Any comment on that? I just honestly I feel like he should just be doing his job instead of trying to get like whatever he wants over for himself. Like I think he, he, he has a certain style that he likes. Yeah. And it comes across so much like, oh, like obviously Josh doesn't like this style. Like, that's but you know what, man? Yeah, you, you get the product just, over. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was about to say. It's it's not announcers are not supposed to get themselves over. It's supposed to get the product over, in my opinion. So that right. that's where that where what Matt said out there was because of you know. I just said, are you burying us again, man? Because that's what he's doing. Like, <laughs> I've literally watched matches that I have loved of ours. And I've heard his commentating, and the matches are less great with his commentating. Like, and like, and he he could bury us and stuff. But like, I, and he doesn't like our style of wrestling. That's fine. I don't like his style of commentating. <laughs> like, <laughs> I agree on that. Did you? Were, was there any words <laughs> after? True. Were there any words after the match with him at all? No, no. I didn't even see him. Yeah, hmm. I didn't even see him either. It was, it was a busy weekend. I didn't. Even, sure. I, I never really saw him. I saw. I I only saw Jr. Like he did once. Was, we were all sighted in different positions in different parts of the building all day doing pre tapes, all this other stuff. But, uh, yeah. but no, not yet. Hey, what do you guys? Um, I I liked for the most part. I liked the mix of um, of uh, the Americ the American talent that they had on the show. But I, um, you know, and and he's my my former partner and everything. But like the the Billy Gunn. Uh, Tanahashi. versus Tanahashi, that type of thing. Like, I think it's good mm. that New Japan uses Billy Gunn in Japan mm. because it's a you know. But like here in the states, I, I I just didn't think that was a good idea. I thought he, I thought Tanahashi should add maybe a a, a a Japanese opponent actually. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, yeah I'm, I'm not sure uh, how that went about, but <laughs> I think personally, uh, New Japan feels that because he's such a, a name like in America yeah. that it would bring more attention to that match because of it. That's my opinion though. I, I'm not, sh- I'm not sure of the reasoning for the booking. But, oh no, but I totally get it. I would guess. I totally yeah, get yeah. why they did it. I just think that they underestimated yeah. themselves that they needed him on in, in that position. Yeah. That's all. And that, and right. I, yeah, nothing I gotcha. against, I love Billy and he's an amazing athlete. I just, yeah, I question oh, that. Dude, he's so good. He's so good. We just wrestled him in Australia a couple of weeks ago, and my God, I'm trying to keep up with this guy. Yeah. He's so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, good guy, too, man. So what's next for you guys? Oh, uh, PWG this Friday, right? Uh, no way. The most recent yeah. thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, wow. Yeah, pushing right, forward yeah. back. Oh, is the name of the show. After, it's the anniversary after, show. I think it's 13 years, right, yeah. I want to yep. say. 
And and you guys yeah. still make and you guys still find time in your schedule to hit the PWG. That's pretty much the only uh, independent that you do these days, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's pretty hard these days to uh, to fit it in. And uh, I I hope the fans uh, like respect the fact that we do get that into our our monthly schedule because I can tell you this, I it's probably winding down because uh, we've been doing it for ten years straight. Yeah every every month and it, it is hard and that show takes the most out of my body so i don't know how much sure. longer i can do it to be right. honest with you and and i'm but, sure but I, well, but like I, they've seen everything they've yeah seen everything we can do. exactly and, but, and here's so the we, thing we, i'm we sure love, you guys super direct i'm sorry i was just going to say i'm Go sure ahead. you guys could make a lot more money um working uh, another promotion you know like right I mean, just because of the simple yeah. fact that it's in such a small venue, like there's only so much money could be made there. Yeah, but when oh, you yeah. made your sure. Ring of Honor contracts and your New Japan contracts, wasn't that factored into the contract that PWG was the only independent promotion you guys could wrestle for? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You in the U.S. That's the only uh, other company we can wrestle for. We can still go do indies, you know, overseas and stuff. Like that's that's how important PWG has been to us. Like. It, it's home to us, and you know we've been there so long, and it, it's just it, something about working in that building, like it's magic, and we just love it. And Dan, Danny, Super Dragon, he put us on yeah. the and we yeah. feel like we owe a lot to him. So for sure, that's why that's we always, why, we always that's make why it. We do it. So, yeah, that's why we do it every month because of, out of respect for uh, our friend. Right on. Yeah. So, hey, any before we let you guys go, does anybody have any more? I got a couple. Okay. What up, guys? You know me, Jimbo. Yep. Obviously. Um, yeah, of course. 